All right, guys, welcome to another video. During this crisis where we're all trying to stay safe, a lot of events have been canceled, including local autocross events. So it made me think, you know what? I never posted that video of the season finale from last year uh, for the Zone 1 autocross season. And it's a pure, pretty unique event. It is set up on a military base that has closed runways. So that meant the autocross course was a mile long. A mile long that's pretty dope so my buddy and I attended this uh, event it was a two-day event so we had lots of drive time and we had a blast so here is a video of that experience I hope you enjoy all right guys we're out here in uh, Fort Devens Massachusetts for a two-day big autocross event it's my first time participating in an autocross with a course this large all right, when you first arrive, as you know, you pick a spot to park and you have to clean out your car, take out all the junk and things that could fly around. I went to the driver's meeting and I'm pretty much set up, ready to go. This is my 2015 GTS with PDK. Uh, I love this car, had it for five years, fantastic. Right next door is a Spencer with his GT3 and it has this uh, pipe on the end to kind of mute the exhaust sound so it, it isn't too loud. So I've never seen that before, uh, but what a fantastic car. Manual, GT3, what's not to like there? It's great. And then next door to me on the other side is my buddy Milton. This is his 2016 GTS manual. He put all this crazy track tape on the car. Not sure if it's necessary for an autocross, but hey, can't be mad at somebody who wants to take care of his car, keep it looking nice. So anyway, there's Milton. Look at this beautiful piece right here. Vintage Porsche 911. Wow, it's been totally tricked out. It's practically a race car from my visual inspection. Look at the roll cage, lowered. What an amazing uh, piece here. It was taken, brought here in a trailer. I don't even know if it's street legal. Here's my car, all lined up, ready to go. Here's my buddy Milton's GTS manual. He's all ready to go as well. But look at all of these beautiful Porsches here all lined up, ready to do autocross. Fantastic. In front of me is Milton about to take his first lap. I'm about to take my first lap. Earlier, we walked the whole course a couple of times, which is an important step to do. Let's see if we're prepared. Starting off very tentative here because I'm not sure and ah, so as you can see right out of the gate I miss a gate so obviously I wasn't prepared enough but you get four laps in the morning about four laps in the afternoon so I'm gonna skip ahead to the last lap of the morning session let's see how we did Guys, you're gonna see my fist pump here because my time really improved. This morning, I was about 90 seconds and slow and even missed a cone, but my last run of this morning session was 69 seconds, so that was a big improvement. All right, guys, I did my first four runs of the morning on day one here at Fort Devens. 
and it started out rough, honestly. I think my first run was an 89 and did not even count because I missed the gate. Right out the gate, I missed the gate. So what I ended up doing was just using that as a recon lap. I think one of my second runs was in the 70s, like 71 point something. And then the last run this morning was 69. That was pretty good coming down from 89 and a missed gate. And it was a pretty clean run. It's pretty exciting to do this course out here. So it's very sweeping. You can really get up some good speed. So it's much different from the smaller autocrosses uh, that I've attended. So it's a lot of fun. You, and the more and more you do it, the more you remember the courses, you remember the lines. Right now I have the car set up in Sport Plus with PASM. No, excuse me. I have the car set up in Sport with PASM turned on. It's not in Sport Plus because really you're not out of second gear that much. So there's no reason for us, for me to go all the way at the Sport Plus with the PDK. Um, but yeah, so, so much fun. All right, let's see if Milton has anything to say. This was your first, first autocross event, right? First Porsche. Porsche autocross, autocross event. event. All right. That I drove my car. That's right. This car, this Porsche, my Porsche, this current Porsche in. Very good. So what do you think of this big Fort Devens airport situation here? Much, much happier than some of the parking lots I've seen guys do it in, which I'm sure is fine. But this is uh, larger. It's, uh, the roads are cleaner. Yeah. I haven't had any, uh, any, uh, any uh, bumps in the road or stone, pebble, yeah. any of that kind of stuff going on that would make me uh, concerned about whether my car was going to survive the fun undamaged right uh you can get up to some speed here and it's spread out and i like it the other side of that coin is because it's spread out you tend to go a little faster and you got to be able to temper that that speed uh on the turns because they can come back and bite you not that i've been bit <laughs> All right. But they can come back. They, they but is your car moving back. around? Is it sliding out there? I have you? had a little slide, uh -huh. a little sliding here and there, uh, but nothing, nothing where I slid and stopped. No, I was very controlled. Yeah, I, I'd even, I'd have to say, more like unexpected drifting uh, than, than sliding. But my my problem here has been, I miss a couple of the the gates. Some of the gates are wide left or wide right yeah and if you focus too narrowly and you don't keep your head you know pivoting on a swivel you can miss something that and the cones are so beat up from the autocrosses that they're they're black they're some black. of them are blackened I mean, if they were if they were bright orange like you know they're intended to be you may you maybe you'd see it a little bit more. That's not right. to make excuses. <laughs> of course not. Not to make excuses. Of course not. Today we've seen speeds. The super the, the superpowers here are yeah. in the fifties. Yeah. Right now, the fastest clean run I've had is seventy two or seventy something. Joe, you broke seventy. You're in the sixty nine. Yeah, I did a sixty nine point yeah, zero so zero five. Sixty nine flat. That's and, pretty good. Uh, so I've got to get into the 60s you because will. You uh, will. I've got to do it for myself. I've got to do it for manual transmission. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I've got to, I can't have the PDK. Uh, PDK because, all the way. Because no, it's not. No, no, no. Oh, PDK. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to get, don't worry, manuals. Three pedal guys, we're going to get there. But how many, you know, you're pretty much in second gear though, right? Are you ever into third? Um... Wow, I tell you what, I've been so focused, I can't, I want to well, say no. Right. right, right. I want to say no. Right. I'm pretty much living in, in second. Only change I do is from one to two, uh, coming out of the gate. One right. and in the beginning, one to two. And I've been holding one now until the first turn and then slipping in the second before I get into the slow. Makes sense. You know, oh, it's great. It's a great course. Yeah. Great cars here. And oh, yeah. You got all sorts of drivers. You got them old, young. Oh, yeah. Male, female. And friendly. That's the uh, thing you too. might even have some that used to be male and now female. I have no <laughs> idea. I have, I have, because you can't <laughs> tell. That's true. <laughs> and you're not supposed to ask, right? No. no. Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, do you have an HR uh, department <laughs> exactly. on your no. channel? Sue him, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. I think our next step is we're about to go work the course. All right, so let's do that and we'll check in a little bit later. All right. All right, man. Thanks, thanks. All right, guys, I'm out here on the course. I'm going to be working the cones. 
I'm down here in section four and you see those cones out there. The car's gonna fly through here. So if someone hits one of these cones, I shout it out so that the car number could be penalized for hitting that cone. But then I have to run out, straighten it back up and it's a volunteer organization. So there you go. Spencer. Alright guys, it's starting to rain for this run. So these guys have a bit of a disadvantage. But they're still doing it. We're still out here. It's raining out here guys these cars are taking it easy now that it's raining slipping and sliding a little bit we are about to go out for the second series of runs and as you can see it's been raining out here and watching the other drivers go through in heavy rain they were taking it gingerly some spin outs here and there which is to be expected we're gonna see how we can do for this second half of the first day. And then after that, it's all over for us for today. And then we're back at it tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, there'll be a completely different course. The cones will be set up differently. So uh, let's see how it goes. Mark, shooting number 887. Ooh, you have 63.920, Mark. So for the damp, wet afternoon session, my fastest time was 72.956, not too bad. We left here and went back to the hotel. Uh, the whole group gathered together for a great dinner and camaraderie, which was fantastic and fun. Shared our stories, had a lot of laughs. But the next morning, we got back to business, had a clear, beautiful day. Let's see what day two has in store for us. All right, guys, welcome back to day two of this big autocross event. I'm standing here, of course, with Milton. Uh, how do you think we did yesterday? Well, how did you do yesterday? Your quick assessment. I didn't do uh, that great. Uh, I, uh, I, I like to see five seconds off my time. Very and, good. Uh, but we, we had some different weather. We had, we had dry, we had wet. And uh, I think I was still 
uh, driving the car a little bit too much in the grand touring zone. Need to need to rough it up. Need to need to go ahead and push the car. So that's your approach for today, right? Absolutely. I'm more pushed today. Yep. I'm I'm treating this car like a like I'm, I borrowed somebody's Mazda. I don't care. About. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. That's right. That's right. But I still admire what some of these fast guys are doing. Some of these guys with GT3s and Bridgestone RE71 tires are in the 50s already. And, oh yeah, and the, mean, and the Caymans. And for those of you that have oh, any yeah. any any reservations about what the potential for a Cayman is or, or boxers or, boxers or boxers on tight curvy courses, uh, they shine. They are owning it. They shine. It's almost like if you're not in a GT3 911, right? Uh, you can just see the transition of weight as they go through go through, through the turns that you don't see. You see much differently. In the in the Cayman in the box, there. totally more part of the road. These guys are working the cars at ten tenths, hitting, yeah. the, hitting the gas coming out of curves that would normally send a nine eleven spinning. You know, they're just you know, and of course driver skill. I mean, a lot of these yes. guys have been here for a while. Yeah, uh, they're four or work. more years. You know, doing yeah. this and yeah. on a regular basis during each year. So mm -hmm. we walk the course this morning. So this is day two of the event, which is awesome that we can do it again. Uh, the course has been reversed with some slight modifications, so it'll be a brand new course in effect because we're going it in the opposite direction. What's your early assessment after walking it this morning? I thought the cone placement and the cones were more readable, but again, I don't know if that's just because my computer now is in tune to the autocross. I'm hoping uh, that I'll have good times today. All right, Milton, thank you very much. We're going to do our driver's meeting and then let's get on the course. So here's Milton's car with track tape on it. Did it make him go faster? We shall see. <laughs> he says he thinks it's slowing him down. Yeah, he takes the tape off. He'll get another three seconds, he says. There you go, track tape in action. All right, guys, this is it. The final run, set of runs of the day. The final set of runs of the day. So let's see what we can do. It's a beautiful day, beautiful afternoon. There is, uh, the sun is shining, the track is dry. So uh, let's see what we can do to round out this two day fest, what kind of times we can get. So we just completed both days, both sets of sessions today. And uh, it was, I'd say it was a lot of fun. You really were able to really experiment with what the car can really do. Uh, it was great to feel the car kind of squirm around under you like that. So that's one of the beauties of autocross, I think, is even though we're not doing hundreds of miles an hour, we're going fast enough and twisty enough to really kind of learn some car control. And that was a lot of fun. So Milton, what is your assessment? Uh, it was uh, it how was, you did the event, anything. All right, all right, all right Joe, shut up. <laughs> oh wait, uh, but, uh, wait. Uh, what, what, what do you drive now? What kind of transmission? Oh God. Wait, well, what is it? I drive a manual transmission uh, GTS. Uh, and what was your fastest time? Seventy point five. Okay. Okay. That's and, great. And uh, it was. Uh, 
about uh, two seconds or one point something or two seconds slower than Joe, and I won't hear the end. <laughs> and uh, oh, wait, what do I drive? And he drives a PD bleep K. <laughs> All right, right and uh, <laughs> so, but. I, I, and I always I call that out is because I, I, I take a lot of shit from a lot of people and I hate a lot when, of people and I hate about when, my PDK. And I hate <laughs> when I hate when losers do this, but I'm gonna do this. I need new tires in the rear. It's true. And uh, tires on this course, on any autocross course, are incredibly key factors. 100%. And and I've got three years uh, and 12, a little over 12,000 miles on my rears, which is about max. And, uh, you know, your tires are, what, maybe nine months old? Exactly, yes. You know, or yes. something like that. Something like so, that. Uh, Still, both, so, both of us are running Pirellis, but yeah. yours yours came with the car. Right. They're, they're old. And you could certainly argue that time difference with new tires would put us, you yeah. know, in, in the same zone. But it was a fun, fun weekend. Oh, yeah. Um, it, you know... When you commit to coming someplace for the weekend, you know, in your personal time and the expense yeah. and everything else, you want to at least walk away with a fun experience. And it was, and it, it was, was fun and it was safe. Yes. Not only for the drivers, but safe for the vehicles. It wasn't a dirty course where you were getting rocks and stones and everything else. Totally. Kicked up. So it was, it was, it was, and the weather was great. Even when it rained, it was good to see the cars run in the rain. It was, it was a good, it was a good experience. Totally. All right, guys, let's do this. We're gonna see what the final results are for the day. So let's roll down there and see, check it out. Okay, third place with a time of 137.801 seconds. Joseph Hutchinson. Oh, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just did the award ceremony and the red team won the whole thing. I was on the black team. We only got fifth place. That's okay. It was still so much fun to uh, spend the weekend out here driving our cars and enjoying the camaraderie and just having so much fun out here. I even walked away with third place in my category, which is kind of fun. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys consider doing something like this on your own because it's certainly a lot of fun. All right, now I'm gonna make my way back home. Uh, it'll be about a three hour drive, uh, but it should be a pleasant one this evening. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Safe driving.